Hey everybody, I'm Kevin and welcome back to The Filmmaker's Formula. Today I want to share with you one of my secrets for editing videos extremely fast to save you time. If you've edited any length of video before, you'd know that editing can get quite tedious. You cut, slice, and dice, but your footage never turns out nice. And when you're stuck, you're totally out of luck. Don't flee, introducing the perfect macro keys. What happened? One of the main time suckers of video editing is when you reposition your hand to perform an action in your editing software. You know of keyboard shortcuts, but when you're holding that command key with your pinky finger for a long time, it can actually cause your hand to start cramping. A macro key is essentially a shortcut of a sequence of keys. You can set it to open a application, type in a password, or just perform a keyboard shortcut. For example, if you would normally click command shift control and K, you can shorten all that to just F12 or any other key for that matter. Macro keys are often used by gamers because with the click of a button, they can carry out a skill set or trigger a combo without having to find all the keys for them, saving them time and giving them that edge. We can use the same philosophy for editing. I personally use a Razer Tatar's gaming keypad with Adobe Premiere Pro. But any macro keypad can work as long as you have the option to customize your keys. Some of the more common shortcuts I use are Control L, Control K, uh, the delete button and the space button. To get a rough edit of my footage, I unlink the video and audio, I splice it with Control K, and I delete the footage and play through the whole thing with the spacebar. With the macro keys I assigned, instead of reaching all over the keyboard, I just place the shortcuts right next to each other. My right hand is constantly on the mouse directing traffic, and my left hand is on the keypad. This way I speed through my edit and eliminate any unnecessary actions. They do sell macro keys on the side of the mouse as well. Feel free to use what you're comfortable with. They also have those uh, kits and panels where you get all these knobs and dials to do more uh, detailed and fancy editing. I personally don't think it's necessary at all and you can accomplish all the same things using a keypad. Whatever you decide to use, know that there's a learning curve to getting used to pressing all those buttons. But once you pick it up, you'll be editing like the flash. I hope this tip helped. Leave any questions you have in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer them. And if you're new here, remember to hit that red subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.